So I promised you guys I'd go over how we can better secure our credentials when running a Packer build. And we kind of already touched on how to do that with environment variables, but I wanted to dedicate a full video on covering how we can actually set up authentication so that we're not hard coding our uh, credentials into our Packer configs. Uh, and so this is going to vary based off, the steps that we have to perform is going to vary based off of which builder we use. So I'm just gonna use AWS as an example, but keep in mind that you know for the most part, all the other builders are gonna be roughly similar, um, but the steps are gonna be just slightly different. Uh, but I just wanted to cover one, and I think that should give you guys a good starting point from there. Uh, so let's go under builders, and let's take a look at Amazon, uh, and then just do an overview. And so if we go down to authentication, it's gonna go over how uh, Packer looks for credentials. And so the first thing it looks for is static credentials, right? And that's what we've been doing for all of our projects. If we take a look at one of our projects here, these are static credentials that are being hard-coded. However, we can also use environment variables. And, uh, and when I say environment variables, I don't mean setting these to an environment variables and then passing them in as a user variable and then passing them in. Instead, what we can actually do is we can just straight up delete both of these. And if we take a look at the steps now, uh, we can pass in these credentials. Uh, so we can pass in our credentials as environment variables and Packer will automatically know to look for those environment variables. So you don't actually have to configure anything in your Packer configs to look for them. Uh, so these are the steps that you would need to do for setting your environment variables on a Linux or a Mac machine. Uh, if you're trying to do this on a Windows, then you wanna do set X and then set these values accordingly. Now for AWS, uh, you know, if, if the environment variables aren't set and you haven't statically defined it like we've been doing, uh, you can also use the shared credentials file. And so I'm gonna go into uh, my home directory and so my home directory, it's going to be in local disk C, and then uh, if we go into users, and then my username, uh, there's gonna be, I created a folder called .aws, so there is a dot at the front, and that's very important. And then within .aws, there's going to be uh, two files, but we really only care about the credentials file, and it has to be called credentials. So let's open this up, and I'm gonna open it up in my text editor. And you'll see that I've set my AWS access key ID as well as my AWS secret access key as well. And so now uh, Packer uh, can actually automatically go in and look for this file and get those values for me so that I don't have to pass it in. So those are the first three ways. Uh, there's a couple of other methods. So if you want to actually run Packer on a uh, EC2 instance, you can just assign it a specific role to give it access. That's another way. Um, but these are the main ways of setting up authentication. I usually uh, just use environment variables or the shared credential files, uh, so that way I'm not hard coding it. Um, also, keep in mind when you're on the sh when you're doing the shared credentials file method on Linux and Mac, you want to go into your home directory. Actually, I could just show you guys real quick. Uh, so, we go to my Ubuntu server. Uh, you want to create that uh, credentials file or that .aws folder in your home directory. So, if you're on Linux or Mac, do a cd and then pass in the little tilde. Uh, so that's going to take you to your home directory. So if you do a PWD, it's always going to be slash home and then slash and then your username. And then you want to create a file called dot AWS or sorry, create a directory. And then within there, you want to create a file called um, credentials. I believe it's credentials. Let's double check. Uh, so yeah, you want to look for a file called credentials. So we can create a file called credentials and then uh, we can VI into that and then go into credentials and then basically just look for, and then we can just set these two values just like we did as well. Yep, and there you go. So that's all you guys have to do if you wanna use the shared credentials method.